Well, they are celebrating 40 years of the Ramona Rodeo starting today. This morning, the Ramona Rodeo Queen herself, Bridget LaHaye, is joining us. And uh, Bridget, looks like you got some friends there with you. Good morning to you all. Oh, of course I do. <laughs> Introduce Good us. Good morning, to everybody. Here. I'm Bert Davis. Hi, Bert. How are you? Great. And then it's Kayla as well, right? Yep. Great, yep, guys. Absolutely. We are so excited for this. I, I, wow, 40 years, four decades of this rodeo. Um, why don't we start with you, Kayla? How long have you been attending the rodeo? I've been attending the rodeo for 11 years now. Every year, haven't missed one. Wow. Uh, this is uh, quite the event. Let's talk about the show, what people are going to see out there, um, and all the excitement. Bert. Yes, sir. Yeah, I last time I was here at Ramona was 20 years ago. They said I did a really good job and they'd hired me back. So it's been 20 years and I'm excited to be back. This has been one of the most fun rodeos uh, of my career what, 20 years ago. The crowd was electrifying and now with the technology, I come into town and we even have a video board now. We didn't have one when I was here the last time and they tell me that the crowds have gotten better here. Bobby Edmonds, who is the rodeo announcer, he had a, a deal on Facebook the other day that said uh, this place walks small and he would take this audience anywhere in the country with him. So I'm excited to be back and so are my puppies. Yeah, awesome. Kayla, one of the reasons it's so exciting is because the crowd really gets into this, right? Talk about that a little. Yeah, absolutely. So we're always looking for crowd enthusiasm and involvement. Um, we do have our mutton busting event that we feature. And so a lot of those audience members who normally would be able to participate, they are able to have either their grandchild or a child in our mutton busting. So they actually get some some time in on the arena floor. So be sure to stay tuned for our mutton busting for each performance. You know, I, I, I did a lot of work in Colorado too, where rodeos were really big as well. And mutton busting is so fun. It's like, it's like the starting of the, uh, the bull riders, right? It's kind of like where they That's started, right. like our young little bull riders. It's so fun to watch them on the sheep and uh, boy, they got to wear the equipment cause it's, they can be bounced around. It's fun to watch. Yeah, it is. And you're exactly right. That's kind of the starting ground for our, our bull riders. That, that's where it all starts. It's it's fun. They have a good time. It's not far for them to fall. And uh, that you're right. They will be in their shafts and in their helmets and their vests, just like any of our professional bull riders. Let's, let's chat with Bridget a little bit. How does one become the Ramona Rodeo Queen? It is quite the crown. You don't wear a crown. In fact, I like your uh, I like your hat much better crown. than a crown. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a pageant process, and so it's a pageant like many others. There's a public speaking portion. There's an interview portion. There's a written test portion about the sport of rodeo, Ramona itself, and the Ramona rodeo history. And then there's a horsemanship component as well. And there's usually a panel of about three to four judges, and it's like a job interview, you know, because you're applying for a job to be the Ramona rodeo queen. You know, I, I hear that the uh, the theme this year is tattoos on our town. Uh, uh -huh. What is uh, what what is behind that, uh, that that theme? Can you explain that a little bit? So our town is pretty much what Ramona calls themselves, and so tattoos on our town as an our town. Yeah. Um, it just really uh, plays on the history of Ramona and the history of Ramona Rodeo. It's been a staple here for forty years. And so there's a lot of generations that have been uh, involved in this rodeo, and it's really just celebrating the heritage of this rodeo. And, and Bridget, what, what do you um, what do you think was been one of the craziest, wildest moments you you can recall at the Ramona Rodeo? Oh man, um, I was actually Ramona Rodeo Young Miss in 2010. It was my very first rodeo title, so I'm very happy to have come full circle and come back to the queen title. And Kayla here actually let me ride in the rodeo and participate in the rodeo. Cool. And so I think the most thrilling feeling for me was my very first uh, queen's presentation run and being able to run sponsor flags for the amazing sponsors of this rodeo. Bert, you're, uh, you're quite the salesman, I think, and you can sell this rodeo. Uh, tell people what they need to know in a line or two to, to get out there to Ramona. 
folks come out to the rodeo this weekend, you're going to see things that a rodeo clown has never, ever done in rodeo ever before. I'm going to pull out some tricks uh, this weekend that no rodeo clown in the history of rodeo has ever accomplished. And I started doing it this year. Plus, I got a bunch of sidekicks. Actually, let me walk over here and introduce you to one of my sidekicks. This is Winnie. This is Winnie. She's one of the, the Poodle sisters. Oh, good. We travel with 17 dogs. There's 12 dogs that are in our act. And this is Winnie, and, <laughs> and I think we're going to do a few little tricks right here. Hey, Winnie. All right. Can we do a real quick trick? Yeah. Here, all right. Winnie. Winnie, jump through Get the hoop. There. Let's Winnie, see it. Jump through the hoop. Woo! Come on. Winnie. Winnie. There we go. Winnie, sit. Nice. Winnie's got the Winnie, skills. Winnie. Winnie, come here. Sit. Bert's got Winnie sit. trained. Winnie, sit. Sit up. Winnie. Okay. Oh, uh, Winnie, up. More than just come a on, sit. Winnie. Wow. And he's up. Wow. Come on, Winnie. And we could just train our dogs Winnie, to sit. Come come on. Come on. Winnie just jumping come around on. doing the head, up, the head thing there. Get back up there. That's the oh, girl. Talent. Hey, here, Winnie. 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 Whoa. Winnie. Look. Winnie. See? Winnie. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, Winnie. Winnie's got the ups. Winnie, sit up. Winnie. Winnie, sit up. You're going to see a lot more of that kind of stuff oh, here wow, this Bert, weekend. Come out impressive. and see us Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, very impressive. You sold us, that's for sure. Let's uh, let's wrap it up, though, with Kayla. Where can people go to learn more, to get tickets, to learn all the information, everything they need to know? Yep, absolutely. Go to RamonaRodeo.com. Um, we actually recommend that everybody try to buy their tickets in advance because we are it is we are expecting a sellout show. Wow. So uh, you can get your tickets online at RamonaRodeo.com and then follow us on social media as well. I can see why. There's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of things to do and see out there. Bridget, Bert, Kayla, thank you all so much for your time. We really appreciate <laughs> it. Get out there to Ramona and uh, enjoy. So it's RamonaRodeo.com. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too now.